minute. What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has been in the news for quite some time. But until now, there wasn't any leaked image or video of the handset. So the design of the Z Fold 3 has remained a mystery. But that changes today. Not only we have our first ever images of the handset, but also we have the official video as well as the first look at the clamshell, the Galaxy Z Flip 3. First up, here's how the Galaxy Z Fold 3 looks from the back. A few days ago, we talked about how Samsung is not using the best camera setup on this foldable that they have on the S21 Ultra. Samsung, for some reason, has decided to not include a periscope zoom camera, but instead has opted for a more traditional triple 12 megapixel camera array, and that's what we see here on this phone. The phone will be available in at least three colors, dark green, black, and white or silver. Samsung confirms in the video that the Z Fold 3 will be the first foldable smartphone to have an under-display camera technology. As you can see, there is no camera cutout or notch of any sort in the marketing material, bringing that seamless edge-to-edge -edge look without any interruption. Now, if you think that Samsung will use the under-display camera on the outside cover display as well, then you'd be wrong because the Z Fold 3 will have the same punch hole camera cutout on the outside display just like its predecessor. Now, this is a bit disappointing because if Samsung thinks the under display camera is ready to be used on the inner display, then it should be ready on the outer display as well. Anyway, unlike the Z Fold 2 which had 120Hz refresh rate on the inside display only, the Z Fold 3 will have 120Hz on both the inner and outer display as shown in the video. Also, Ben Geskin has made the render of the Z Fold 3 based on these leaks and to be honest, it looks quite good but like I've said, they should have gone for an under display camera on the cover display as well. Another highlighting feature of the Z Fold 3 is the support for S Pen functionality and the video confirms that as well. One of the images shows the S Pen being used to take notes while on the video call meeting. The phone will reportedly come with a hybrid S Pen with a soft tip so as to not damage the inner display. Speaking of the display, Samsung is also using a more durable ultra-thin glass by doubling its thickness. With that said, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 will also launch alongside the Z Fold 3 and here's what the clamshell would look like. Samsung is using a dual-tone finish much like the Pixel phones of the past. Samsung has substantially increased the cover display size compared to its predecessor. The display shows incoming notifications and media playback buttons which suggest that it will support touch inputs. But the phone is still using a dual camera setup at the back much like the original Z Flip except it's vertical this time. Now unlike its bigger brother, the Z Flip 3 will not have the honor display camera technology, it's the same punch hole camera again. The phone will be available in a plethora of colors, 8 to be exact. Both the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 will have Gorilla Glass Victus on the cover display. Samsung is expected to keep an unpacked event in July for these foldables. Do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.